will be presented by Dr. Shakun Malik. She's medical officer at the U US FDA, the Food and Drug Administration, and she will discuss an important topic, namely that women, elderly and minorities are poorly represented in lung cancer drug trial data submitted to the FDA. Good morning. Um, I'm thankful to give this presentation in front of you today. Um, so what we did was we reviewed trial data that was submitted to the FDA for the drug approval for treatment of lung cancer over the last decade. So we collected the data from 2000 to 2010. The purpose of this review was to note if the trial populations studied represented the U.S. population who were to receive these drugs. We analyzed the gender, age, and ethnicity data from 10 pivotal trials. What we know is that despite the decrease in the overall lung cancer death rates, reports of disparity by gender, age, and race still persists. According to surveillance, epidemiology, and, and uh, results or SEER data of the patients diagnosed with lung cancer, 58% are men and 42% are women. 27% are less than 65 years of age and 73 are more than 65. The median age of diagnosis is 71 years. As far as the ethnicity is concerned, compared to Caucasians, the incidence rate is seven, uh, of 68 per 100,000. It is 72 per 100,000 for African Americans. It is especially alarming that for African American male, it is 126 per 100,000. Incidence for Hispanics is 30 per 100,000, and the Asians is 39 per 100,000. So these are our results. Compared to the incidence of 58% in males, the trial enrolled about 68% of males. And in females, 42 versus 32% were enrolled in the trials. The age disparity was very concerning. 27% of the patients uh, have less than age less than 65, and less than age 65, 64% of the patients represented the trials. Ethnicity, the Caucasians were 78%. Black population was only 2%. You're standing in the shot. Asians, I'm sorry? No, no, no. Oh, Asians was 15%, and the Hispanics were were 2%. So our results suggest that the trial populations used for approvals do not represent well the U.S. population who may receive the marketed agents. Women, the elderly, and minorities were less frequently enrolled in the trials. The disparities by the age and the ethnicity were especially pronounced. Thank you. Thank you for this important data. I suppose there will be questions. Yes. Maurice uh, Einron, Journal du Médecin, Belgium. I wanted to ask, is this specific for uh, lung cancer? I suppose not. So this is something that uh, we see in other diseases as well. So uh, we are going to uh, collect data on other diseases. I'm hoping that I will have enough data for another major cancer next year for ASCO. But this data that I have collected is only for lung cancer. Other questions? Yes. Uh, <clears throat> Mitchell Zoller, Internal Medicine News. Is there a particular reason why you looked at lung cancer first? Uh, it is a lot of data, and uh, I came from lung cancer. Um, I am interested in lung cancer. I have been involved with the lung cancer. So I decided that instead of uh, getting all the data together, which is a a large task. It's going to take years. So um, we decided that I'm going to start with a specific diseases at some time. It was not, it's one of the major killers of cancer is lung cancer. So I decided to start with the lung cancer. Yes. Um, Susan Mayer from the British Medical Journal. What are you going to do with your findings within 
the FDA and is this part of a broader program to look at the applicability of patient recruitment trials? Uh, we have been for a long time um, in the FDA um, asking this question to when the, uh, there is trial enrollment that we would like the minorities um, and elderly to be enrolled in the trials and we would like to this was to bring forth um, the data that this is a, really a true finding and we would want the minorities and the elderly enrolled in the clinical trials because as you know that the elderly are going to uh, be the ones who are receiving these drugs and um, especially concerning is that they will receive the drugs that uh, younger people got and the toxicity of course is of a uh, main concern to us. Do you have any analysis of, <clears throat> excuse me, of what factors may be contributing to this? Is it in the design of the trials or other elements of patient enrollment? Um, I think part of the, um, it's not the design of the trial, it's just that uh, we do enroll patients mostly, most of the trials do enroll zero to one performance status. And so elderly usually sometimes may not be in that uh, category so they may get less enrolled. Um, we have to encourage elderly and we have to design trials for that way we can enroll these patients. Uh, as far as the minorities are concerned, I think the education um, is going to help in that area, educating the patients, educating ourselves and um, you know talking to patients is going to help to enroll the minorities. And uh, also, do you have any um, thoughts about how the uh, findings might immediately apply to the interpretation of study findings? Is there any um, qualifications that you think should be applied to using agents that have been uh, tested in trials that have had these um, uh, characteristics and, and things that might be changed in, in applying the drugs to the elderly and minorities? Uh, not at this time, but I think that we have to be aware of these things and that we have to encourage the enrollment of these um, subsets of patients um, that will give us more information in future. Thank you very much. Dr. Thank Ma you.